Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin battle for the upper regression band. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So as always, as always, I have to spend a couple minutes talking about the caveats to this type of analysis. The first thing we wanna talk about is our lower regression band, okay? These are both fit to the same equation, y equals 10 times the this is raised to this power, basically, a times the ln of x minus b. Fairly straightforward equation, a and b are fitted coefficients, x is time. Now, the bottom regression band is, is instrumental for the accumulation phase, in my opinion. Um, I feel like it, it has helped us identify the best time to accumulate Bitcoin. And then the upper one is fit to three data points, and I keep meaning to maybe maybe explore other, mm -hmm. other fits to this, but for now, I think this will do. Um, regardless, regardless, where does it put us? Because we, we keep battling with this upper regression band. We keep going into it and then coming back out. So right now, the upper regression band ranges from 59,452 up to 87,657. And these numbers are just sort of representative of a tolerance for our potential potential move okay um and and one thing i should say as always is that uh, you know there, there cannot be a ton of confidence in a three data point fit we have no idea if the fourth data point will fall within this interval or not or if it might be slightly above it if this if this ends up being a a local top and and maybe we come back down and then we go back up something like that then I don't even know that I would refit it to this data point. I would wait until we actually get well into the regression band. So far, we haven't really gone that far into it. If we zoom in, let's zoom all the way in to see where we are. You can see that we've had a couple weeks now where we briefly go into it. But let's switch it over to the daily time frame. Okay, so we had a brief moment where we entered it right here. We also briefly entered it for a couple days here, maybe three days, and then we just had a wick into it again. So we keep flirting with this upper regression band, okay? And to me, it sort of seems like, you know, it, it, once we break through and get a decisive move into this regression band, things could get crazy relatively quickly. Um, now, there's a lot of indicators that would make us believe that we could be approaching a local top, okay? We don't really know for sure, uh, but things are certainly overheated. You have all sorts of indicators uh, that are, are flashing and and one of the things you have to remember With all of these models even the ones I developed. Okay, even the ones I developed My models are, are going to be no different than anyone else's models in the fact that all Models are wrong all models are wrong some are useful though And and I hope that we can present enough useful models to where it helps you Navigate these these markets. Okay, I can guarantee you the one thing we can likely take to the bank to some degree is that all the models are somewhat going to be wrong. Um, you know, a lot of the models that we talk about, I mean, they're, they're, they're retroactively fit. So we do not know yet if they actually have any predictive power or not. Uh, you know, we talk about our regression band. We talk about our pi cycle top indicator. Well, it's not mine. It's it uh, belongs to someone else. We talk about, you know, the, the, the monthly RSI getting getting relatively heated we talk about a ton of different indicators but at the end of the day we don't really know how well they're going to be in terms of their predictive power for identifying a local top until we've actually moved beyond it and then can look back and, and sort of take inventory as to what actually happened so right now we see bitcoin sort of just sitting on the cusp of moving decisively into the regression band and by the way, again, the top to the regression band now is at approximately 87,849. It's moving up by a modest $70 a day, give or take $10 or so, but about $70 a day, it's moving up. So over the course of say another three months, right? Let's say another 100 days, the, the upper part of the regression band could be closing in on $94,000, $95,000. So it is moving up relatively quickly. Relative to the price of Bitcoin, it's not moving up that quickly, considering that despite the fact that it's been moving up, the price of Bitcoin has continuing has, has been continuing to slowly approach it, while well, maybe not so slowly, over the last several months. We basically have blasted off 
from actually below the regression band, okay? So, I mean, here's proof right here that you don't actually have to respect the regression band. We went below it. But what I will say, you know, we, we fit this data to quote unquote non-bubble Bitcoin data up through this point, and I think it did a relatively good job. But as you can see, we actually did go slightly below it. Regardless, I, I still think that presented a key opportunity to purchase Bitcoin. And back then when we were at that level and we said, you know what, everyone's scared. We're at the 200 week moving average. Historically, this is the best time to buy Bitcoin. You take that for what you want. You have to operate different from the market, okay? You buy the fear, you sell into the greed. That's how the market works. A lot of people think you only buy at the bottom and you only sell at the top. But what if it didn't have to be like that? What if you sort of, you bought, everyone DCAs in the market, right? You could also skim profits off the top at various phases as well, according to your own risk tolerance. Um, now, it is my, my thinking that Bitcoin will trend to six figures and you know, well into the six figures. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily going to stop at 100K. I, I think, I think, realistically speaking, a one to two hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin is is possible. But I don't know that it's going to go there immediately. Um, so you know, whether you prescribe to say four year cycle or lengthening cycle, I'm obviously, I you know, I I definitely think there's a lot of evidence to suggest that this cycle could take longer. With our recent move. You know, we've moved up relatively quickly over the last few months. We'll have to see how things play out. You know, if, if we get a move where, where where something like this happens, where like if, if Bitcoin, I mean, maybe even it comes back down in the short term and then it and then it just sort of skyrockets and goes all the way up to like one hundred and thirty thousand, one hundred and forty thousand dollars. I have a lot of videos saying where I think one hundred and forty thousand is the is sort of going to be near the top for the cycle. Um, so. I'm just sort of using that as a reference. Like if it were to just blast off to that to that area this summer, then I, I think it's going to be hard for us to not go into an extended bear market um, at that time. Uh, however, another alternative path that I, I think is somewhat plausible and is for, you know, even if we go up from here, we go to say 65, 70, 75, we could go, we could go all the way up to 85K, 90K almost and still respect this regression, man we might come back down and I don't necessarily know that that means that at the end of the cycle, it could just mean that we pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and then continue on. So we have to consider it again, that this cycle could be symbolic or representative of our double peak 2013 cycle, where we had a major move, we came back down and then we went all the way back up. And I mean, it, we, yes, we did not make it to the regression band on our first move, we were approximately 50% away from it. However, we also have to remind you that this is a three data point fit and that it's possible that we, you know, and, and also I think each cycle will have sort of its own characteristics at the end of the day. So what I would say as always for Bitcoin, time is on our side. The momentum is more likely to carry us up than down. And we've been saying this since October, right? The momentum is more likely to carry us up than down we will have a correction at some point. Hopefully, I'm hoping, I personally hope we get a, a nice 40 to 50% correction before we get to 100K so that we can sort of consolidate for a while, reaccumulate, and then trend, trend even higher. Uh, we'll see if we get that or not. That's what I'm sort of hoping for. I don't always get what I want. You guys, you know, you guys know that I don't always get what I want. So with that said, if you guys like the content, Subscribe to the channel. Might as well subscribe. Let's go for a quarter million subscribers. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the Telegram channel in the description below. Remember, we have the premium list altcoin season sale. I, 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 the only reason I have it still going on is because we've had a lot of people having issues getting signed up. The website is um, up today. There was just a lot of traffic, so people are having a hard time, hard time getting in. So make sure you guys sign up. Check out the altcoin season sale. You can find a link to that in the description below. You get access to the trading view indicators that you see, as well as several other trading view indicators, the weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app, premium only live streams, and more. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.